Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and the Scrap Ham International Multimode 2 that I bought. But anyway, before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe, share and make a comment if you like the video. So this is how it looked before with its sticker on the top. We've got no front for it. Now you may have seen in a previous video me refurbishing a front. Well, that's for this radio. So let's get started, have a quick recap of what it was like before. So what it was like before, we had bits of ribbon, PLL in a weird socket, and of course the obligatory cut tracks around the PLL. Somebody had taken the earths off, there was a crystal missing, and there was a crystal attached to one of the switches on the front. So yeah, it was a it was a bit of a mess, but when I tried to get it working, and we did eventually get it working. Now, I did buy this for scrap, but you know me, I can't let a good radio go to scrap. So there was the work I did on the PLL. Unfortunate, unfortunately with some blue solder mask because we didn't have any green but it'll do it'll protect those tracks so yeah I think it looks a little bit better so what we're going to be fitting into it we're going to fit this FM audio speech processor module one of my voltage feed and FM audio VCOs and one of my five band mod boards to match the decal that we've already got for it so let's get on to it so first things we need to get rid of this band select so we've just been around pulled all the wires out because we know what most of these wires do anyway we've also removed the crystal sockets the two rvs that we don't need anymore and we're going to pull out the an inductor and a capacitor to isolate the FM audio. So I've just put my VCO in, so we'll just check that we've got a lock, which we do, very nice. So it's a good start. And there's my mod board fitted, not wired up yet. But with the mod board just plugged in, we could drop straight onto mid band. So I've modified the original switch, just took it apart, turned the uh, select wave around, and made it into a five way switch. And we cabled it up. And we've got two wires for the FM offset, which are the white wires here. So there's our band switch fitted. Nicely cable tied in. We've disabled the 41 to 80 display. Well, it was actually already disabled. All it needed was just pulling down to earth. So we've got nice five way band switch there. And we'll put a potentiometer on the top there to put us onto the UK offset. From the UK position, we've fitted this little speech unit in there which supposedly helps with the FM audio as you can see the crystals have gone apart from the mid-band crystal because this board just runs off the mid-band crystal so yeah it's coming together and I've also fitted this 2 ohm resistor as well because the variable resistor was missing so instead of it potentially burning out the RF stage running full power because it was producing 12 to 14 watts we've now got it down to a sensible 6 watts and we've got a transistor there off the UK um, side which now lights the UK light which was the original highlight and there's our front that we scrounged off one of my friends if you watched the previous video, you'll see that it was in a bad way. So I think we've made it look a bit better now. 
it's actually as presentable as it's going to get. So it's very nice. And we've scrounged some knobs as well. So we've got a full set of knobs on there. Got a half decent front now. It's not perfect, but it's not too bad. And we've had the cases powder coated. So all in all, the radio has turned out quite nice now. So we're on 38 LSB mid-band there. And as you can hear, stateside is booming in today. Very nice. So now we've got plus 10 KC, minus 5 KC, 5 bands. And yeah, okay, the front isn't 100% perfect, but I think you'll agree it's better than having no front at all in the really... Um, bad way case should we say so yeah a presentable radio now and it'll live to see another day instead of going into the scrap pile anyway thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe join the facebook group join the patreon buy me a coffee all that stuff thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video